He's got no pulse and his ink is clogged. I think we have to call it. No. Steve Awesome, a DTF printer barely alive. I think we can rebuild him. We have the technology, we have the capability. He will be the first bionic DTF printer. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do a builder or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. This week, we're bringing back Steve Awesome, a DTF printer barely alive. <laughs> a couple of months ago, I was working on our daily maintenance and flushing the print heads when I neglected to turn off the printer and I flushed some water down in there and fried the print head and the print cables. Because water and electricity does not mix. No. So today we're going to replace those and show you guys how to do it. Step one, we're going to gather all of our supplies. We needed a print cable. The new print head. A screwdriver with a magnetic tip and maybe some tweezers to pick up little screws. And uh, that is it. Step two, we're going to disassemble Steve Awesome and remove the bad print head and bad cable. We're going to start by removing the screws on the cover. So the only tricky part about this is that these screws are down in this little hole. We learned that these back two don't need to be removed all the way because there's a little slide there. So you'll remove the front three, which is easier to get to. Make sure you have a magnetic screwdriver so that, that hopefully they'll come up, which none of these did, as you can see. So you'll remove them, slide the cover back, and then you can get the whole thing off. Here we're picking them up with the magnetic screwdriver so we don't lose them. Now we're going to remove the dampers. We're just going to pull these out. Here we're putting a paper towel so that they don't drip ink everywhere and hang them over the edge. Our other lesson learned is that you can put them in a Ziploc baggie once you take them all out. You kind of lay them in the baggie and close it up a little bit so that they don't drip ink on your machine. Next, we're gonna remove this clip that holds the cables in place. There are three tabs, and then you just slide it up and out. This is the actual print head. There are three screws holding the print head in place. Then you just simply lift the print head out. We're going to flip it over and remove the print cables. They just slide right in. There's two of them. And here you can see where the print head kind of caught fire or shorted out electrically. You can see it a little bit in there, and you can definitely see it here on the ribbon cable. Next, we're inside here, and we need to remove this ribbon cable cover. So you're just going to slide it to the right, pop it out, make sure all these little tabs are out. We struggle with this a little bit. and then pull it from the other side. We were afraid to actually pull it because we were afraid we might break it, but it ultimately just slides out. And then once you slide it out all the way, you can pop these cables out, but you see we're doing this first because we didn't know. Next, we're removing this black bar here 
but this is only here for shipping purposes and you would only need to really remove this if you were going to take the whole insides out of its case which we don't need to do so you don't need to remove this bar like we're doing because we end up putting it right back Next, we're gonna remove the print cables. This cable that is attached to the actual movable head, the head case there, doesn't get removed. Just this set of three cables that are attached together get removed. And you're gonna just pull them through this center bar. And then you can see that we hadn't yet figured out that you could remove that cable bracket which we figure it out here and then we pull it through this little hole right through the side that was a difficult part next we're going to remove the screws that are holding on the back plate this is where you'll attach the cables to the motherboard this was a tag team effort i think we both worked on that <laughs> both hands in there do you think i was helping or hurting All right, and here you can see that the three cables on the left side of the motherboard are the ones that actually get removed. Those on the right hand side will stay there. I had no issues with those. Those were not part of the print cables. You just slide them up and pull them out. Step three, we're gonna reassemble Steve Awesome and put them back together, better than he was before. We're gonna put the new print head in and the new cable. This cable, because previously I ordered four different cables, and guess what, none of them fit. I ordered the Epson L1800 print head replacement cables from various vendors, and none of them were the correct size. So, my lesson learned to you guys is get them directly from the link that I'm gonna include down below because I reached out to Poonha directly and got their engineering team. We set up a call, got on the phone with those guys. Shout out to Frank. He was awesome in helping me get this done. So they did remote into our laptop. They did some troubleshooting and guess what they found? Error messages that said high heat, um, no longer communicating with the print cable, Everything that we knew we had done to it, they found exactly that. So they sent us the replacement, the correct replacement parts. So we have the correct print head and the correct cables. And now we're ready to go. All right, we'll start with the cable. That'll be the hardest thing to fish through. The only difficult part here really is getting it from the, along this track in the back is great, but getting it from the back over to this little compartment over here it's takes a, a little... little yeah, it takes a little fishing. Okay, so these cables are already pre-bent for you. They come so that you really can't mess it up. We're gonna slide the new cables back through this little hole here. As long as you go down, it's not a problem. Here's where the little tweezers are gonna come in handy to help me pull this through. Now we're going to feed the other end through. We have to feed the other end through this center bar here where we pulled it out from. And it should be on the inside, which it is not right now. <laughs> we do figure it out. It needs to be on the inside of that print head carrier. And the cables have come pre-crimped here in the middle, so we're gonna pull that crimp right here to where it goes through the metal bar. we we'll seat that right there, and then we're ready to plug it into the print head. Before we plug it into the print head, we're gonna run it through its little track, tape it back down, and plug it into the motherboard. You can see here that this one, again, because of the way they're crimped, they can really only go in this one way. 
So the small one, the large one, with the blue side facing out, and then the other large one with the blue side facing in, white side out. We'll put the cable cover back on. This is a little bit tedious too. You're just trying to slide all four cables, which is the carriage cable plus the three print head cables, into the little clips on the inside of this thing. Almost got it. Almost there. <laughs> Here we go. And don't forget the other end slides in under that bracket where we slid the cables through. And then there are clips on the inside. You'll see you'll have to pop the carriage clips through these little holes and then slide it to the right. Now we'll attach them to the print head. Again, you know you have them right when you lay the print head down in its carriage and the cables are facing in the right direction. Again, because they're pre-folded, you really can't mess it up. And we're gonna lay it in the carriage housing and align it with the side bracket here. You see how they're folded just like they're supposed to be so that you can put this clip back into place. Snaps right in there. We'll replace the three print head screws. Again, a magnetic screwdriver is super helpful with this process. And that's it. We'll replace the dampers. Just gonna flip them back over, put them right in. Try not to make a mess, although they've been sitting for three months, so the ink is pretty dry. I don't think we're gonna make too much of a mess. We will have to pull the ink through and run some print head cleanings before this actually makes a print. Really, we're putting them back in right now to turn it back on to make sure that the communications are happening with the motherboard and make sure we're gonna get that green light. We're gonna go ahead and replace the back panel. And we'll reattach the waste cup and the waste tray. Put that back in place. All right, step four. Plug it in and see if he's okay. Fingers crossed. All right, Steve Awesome. Plug us in. Flipper on. All right, you ready? No. Should I wait a minute? Yeah. Let's just stir in the ink. All right, ready? Ready. You smell Mo any smoke? Not yet. Not yet. Moment of truth. Everybody, shh. <laughs> it's okay, come on, wake up. Come on now. It's gonna to spring to, to life any moment now. Any moment. Whoa, camel's a little tight, huh? Ooh. I don't see any blinking red lights yet though. And it's doing its run through. Yes, blinking flashing green is a great sign. Trust me, I've seen flashing red. I'm just praying for that solid green. But it seems like it's going through all of its motions. It's doing a little cleaning, a little head cleaning. Feeling pretty confident. It's waking up, opening his eyes. <laughs> Still doing its thing. I feel like all, we didn't get this far last time though, so. No, nope, it immediately started than... blinking. Uh, these two alternated in red. Deep, 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 deep. Wow, this is taking forever. Come on, sleep. Steve. It's been asleep for a while. 
I've seen coma patients wake up faster than this guy. <laughs> With the green light, we know we know we're good. Otherwise, it would already be alternating. But you can see here that the white ink has dried up within the cables. I'm really going to have to pull that through. We're going to have to pull it through each of the print heads and then do a print head cleaning. We're going to have to do all the daily maintenance and we'll do that for you in a separate video. Right. Well, I think we're good to go. So I'm going to finish putting the top on and the back panel and we are about out of time. So we will see you on Tuesday where we'll be going live again for another test cut Tuesday. And then next Friday, we'll see you for another do it, build it and make it video. I don't even know what it is yet, but it's going to be a good one. And I don't feel like we can balance Steve awesome right now. He's a little shaky. He's still going through his thing. But my fingers were so cold. I hey, it's solid green. Come on back. And I'm not even done putting it all back together yet. All right, we will see you next Friday.